life teaches us to have a relationship with yourself um, because clearly when you actually have relationships with other people you know friendships um, they're just mere reflections of how you have a relationship with yourself you know how you treat one another one another is how you treat yourself how you talk to one another is how you talk to yourself how you see one another is how you see yourself um so it, it even goes the same with um how you treat nature how you treat animals um you know and it's all comes down to you and how you you view yourself um, how you view your perception of life itself. And you are life. We are all life here. We're life. You know, we're alive. We are creation. We are a part of everything that is here. And so, what I've been learning for myself, um, truly is how to you know treat myself more in a way that it, it enhances my relationships with others my relationships with nature and animals how to show up in the world from within from everything that I'm learning from within, from everything that I do that feels so good to me and nurturing to me for myself and how to bring that into other people's lives and how to share that nurturing, nurturing energy with one another because truly a lot of us miss that in our lives. A lot of us need it, you know. Um, we need nurturing in order to thrive. We need support in order to thrive. We need guidance in order to thrive. We need love in order to thrive. Just how nature nurtures its own self. It has its water it's sunlight, oxygen circulating at all times. It is giving upon itself to continuously grow and evolve. And that goes the same for us. That goes the same for us. And our bodies is the gateway so it's how we treat our body what do we consume whether it's food information um you know what do we focus on you know and how do we come back to ourselves in order for us to reflect everything that we do consume digest you know how do we process things um, and we have to make time for that you know we have to take the time and space to really digest to rest to breathe to feel to listen you know there's an output and then there's an input So the keys to having a relationship with self is the number one most important thing, first and foremost, is to be in your truth, to be authentic. Because if you're lying to yourself, 
then you're choosing to live a lie. You're choosing to be someone that you're not in order to do something that at the end is not even going to fulfill you, you know? And it's just not going to serve you at all. Like, at all. Like, in order to fulfill our dreams, our goals, we have to be authentic and in our truth at all times. We have to be the embodiment of our dreams and our goals. You know, you can say one thing, but completely turn around and do something that, boom, you already are lying to yourself. You know, you are already... Um, and then you start to complain, you start to be agitated, you start to be anxious because, you know, you're not walking the talk, you know, you're not being what you say you will do. So being comes first. Being truth, authentic, comes first. It's about embodying your body, embodying who you are. Knowing that you're beyond what, what you think you are. You're totally beyond your thoughts. You know, who you truly are is beyond opinions, beyond judgment, beyond the critic, the inner critic, the inner thoughts, you know, um, beyond society's rules and laws and, and all that stuff, which I feel like is dying. It's dying as we speak, like we have our voice and our truth and our embodiment of our truth is more powerful, more louder, and more stronger than the society that has taught us to be a certain way. And we're breaking out the box. We really are. And that's just being in your truth, period. Nothing can shatter the truth. Nothing can disrupt it. Nothing can destroy it it is the ultimate it is connected to, it is truth truth is truth so when you are in your truth you are free as a bird you're free you're free baby nothing nobody can shake you nothing can tell you anything the little opinions the little thoughts that people had that won't even that won't even affect you okay so that is the number one most important thing is your truth and that starts with having a relationship with yourself how else are you going to have a fulfilling relationship with someone else if you are not authentic if you are not truthful there's no way you know we have to be real we have to be real we can't linger in the shadows and, and possibly expect the best things to happen. So that's in, first and foremost is facing that. If, if you have problems with being authentic, you know, face your darkness. You're going to have to go through it. And, you know, it's not easy, but there is light. There is light at the end of all that. Your, your, the fact that you're facing it, that is light right there. And coming to terms with it and admitting that you're in this space, that you may be stuck, that you may be ignoring some aspects of yourself, you know, that is light. You're shedding light on dark aspects of you. And that can work for your favor in tremendous amount of ways. You know,
your darkness can work for you. The more you shed light on that darkness, the more power you invoke. The more you understand your, yourself, the more you learn about yourself, the more you know who you are. The less confusion, the more clarity. The less you consume, the more creation. The more you can create. And that's truly, truly loving yourself. Is when you know you have the ability to create. You know you have the ability to help, to serve the world. And another key is self-talk, you know. Um, I don't know anyone who does not talk to themselves. Like, self-talk with spirit, with God, with the universe, self-talk. Um, and, you know, really, really be aware of how you self-talk yourself because a lot of the times when we're talking to someone right we're actually just talking to ourselves and we have to be very careful because sometimes we're not really talking it when we have conversations we have to be very aware because a lot of the times we can be talking about ourselves the whole entire time you know and you know, whether you think you feel like you're talking to someone and you're telling them advice or whatever it is, most of the times it's something you need to talk to with yourself, you know. So are we having true, like, conversations or are we just, like, coming from a space where, you know, we haven't even talked to ourselves, so, you know we're going to talk to someone else for validation or whatever and whatever the case may be um i don't know if y'all get me like on that level because you know and that's why we're not we're not really seeing true conversations no more like deep conversations because people haven't talked to themselves they don't talk to themselves they're they don't want to be alone people are afraid to be alone People constantly need validation, you know, and so we haven't even passed that threshold. Not a lot of us have, you know, so it's about truly having self-talk with you, you know, having conversations with yourself, you know, talk to yourself, be your own lover, your own best friend. You know, your own mother, your own father, your own sister, brother, whatever the case may be, it's all one. You know, be your own therapist, you know. And I'm not saying don't go out there and get a therapist. That's not what I'm saying. But you see how when you have conversations and self-talk with yourself, those external conversations can be even more on a deeper level. You can actually come to truth more um and really others are just like i said a mere reflection so they're just assisting they're just assisting you know <laughs> with what you need to hear or whatever but things can be more deeper with others when we are more deeper with ourselves and so that also just comes with facing your shadow, you know, doing shadow work, facing your darkness, the things that are hidden underneath the surface that, you know, and it, it comes to a point where people can see it, you know, and, and that's definitely now, right now, you know, we can see, we can, you can see it like there's nowhere to hide there's nowhere there's nothing to hide no more 
And so it's this time right now to truly, you know, if you have to go hermit, if you have to be alone, if you have to come to some truths about you and your journey, and you're really, really uh, yearning for change, it's time to face the darkness. It's time to heal. You know, and I'm going through this too. We are not alone. Physically, I may be alone here. But I feel and I know that I'm not. And I know that when I have self-talk with myself, the universe is listening. And a lot of our self-talks when we are alone and then we go back out into the world, so much connects back to when you were alone having your self-talk. So much connects. Things people say might have been what you just said to yourself. You see? So we are not alone. We are not mere uh, little survivalists, human, useless. We're not, we are more. We may just be outside of our body. Our energy, we are the energy. And the energy is connected to all. This is the web of life. And you cannot escape it. For you are it. So reclaim your mind. Reclaim your mind. There may be chaos. And, and listen. I was going through this just a couple of a, w a week or two ago I mean when something triggers me chaos unleashes and it's been actually I'm not even gonna say, it's been quite a, a couple of months for me to truly tame that tame the beast from within and a lot of it took you know days of crying and being sad you know, and releasing a lot, a lot of emotions, a lot of emotional, long-held emotions in the body, a lot of um, past experiences, and a lot of it comes from our ancestors, okay? We are holding a lot. We are connected to our ancestors by the blood, the DNA, and a lot of us are holding on to things that aren't even ours. You know? So that's another thing to keep in mind. A lot of us are so, have been going through life so miserable, so sad, because we are taking on other, other people that came before us. You know? And we're here to truly birth something new into this world we're here to clear we're here to heal we're here to break through limitations really heavy strong limitations of the mind okay and it's truly about reclaiming your mind reclaiming what is yours getting into a space of true clarity and being on top of your own world You know, what I see is like a, a crazy bull, you know, and you're on top of it, but you have it tamed and it's working for you. And that is pure awareness. When there's chaos and confusion in the mind, there's clouds, there's, you know, storms, there's all kinds of things. But the sun, the pinnacle point of pure awareness, of focus, of clarity, of courage, of knowing is right there behind it all. And that is where it's at. That is who we are at our core is that pure clarity, pure awareness 
eagle's eye focus, you know. So a lot of what we take on is illusionary, um, you know, programming of the mind, a lot of beliefs that we hold on to from our parents, from our environment, our personality and the way we think we got to show out into the world, the way we think we got to look, the way we think we have to present ourselves, the way we think we have to describe ourselves or prove. Um, that's not who you are. That's not what people want to see anymore. People want to see more. The world wants to see more. The world wants to see something new. Let's see something new with no agenda. No agenda. And that comes with, again, being who you are. Because who you are is unique. No one in this world is like you. Love yourself like you love someone else. Treat yourself like you would treat someone else. You know? See yourself from possibly someone else's perception. You know, and I do that all the time. I also often look at someone that I truly, truly love and I see them as me. Like I pretend that I'm in their body instead. And it's almost as if I'm experiencing what they're feeling when I do that and how they possibly perceive me, you know? And so much things can expand from that. So much compassion can ex expand from that because we truly are um, more than what we think of someone, you know? We can, like a lot of the times, the version of us lingers in people's head um like there's a version of you that exists in people's mind and that is not you in this present moment let me tell you right now that is not you what people have fixated about you whether it's family friends whatever it is that is not you in this moment in this present moment and oftentimes when we see someone that we know, we get back to the last time possibly they saw us and we get back to that memory and then we embody that again. So it's like, how can we embody someone new every single moment, you know? And I'm not saying new as in like someone that you're not, someone that you are, authentically you, but another side that wants to come out and play, you know? And that gives you more freedom more liberation to be who you are, no matter who it is. No matter if they've known you for 10 years or no matter it's a stranger, you are who you are authentically. And it's truly about that inner child, that wonderment of, you know, remembering who you were when you were a child, you know? Um, and possibly trauma may come up, but before that trauma, before the bad things, before all that stuff that, you know, kind of, I guess, conflicted you in some way, who was that pure essence of you, you know, that pure expression, um, that is literally everything, everything. Awaken to the uniqueness that is you. There is no one in this world like you. There is no one that experienced what you experienced. I mean, to the point, to the, to the point, there is no one that has the essence of you. And so your journey is vital for the world. Your existence is vital. And we cannot compare ourselves to anyone, to anyone's journey. Your journey is your journey. And your breakthrough is your breakthrough. Your timing is your timing. This is not a race. You know, and I love to remind myself this. I love to remind myself this because 
truly I know that what's for me is for me and what's for you is for you you know and that's destiny that's dharma right there and when we can just surrender to that fact we can free ourselves as well we can surrender our dharma we can surrender our destiny and just invoke and and focus and hone in on our destiny and our priorities and what makes us us you know um so having a relationship with yourself requires you to have to 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 have patience with yourself and to take yourself slow you know to to nurture your body to feel what doesn't feel right and to make changes for that and that's inner work inner work is probably the most important work that we are here to do because that carries ancestral trauma that carries wisdom that carries our destiny and our dharma and that carries ultimate change upon this world we are the ones that create the world we are the ones that create the war we are the ones that create the violence we are the ones that create the love we are the ones that create peace so it's like what are you focusing on what are you creating today we create and we impact it's a butterfly effect we impact our immediate environment and then that immediate environment impacts more and more and more and more so it's truly just a matter of time till we all are just in the same wave and that's what we're here to do our dreams and our goals come with that when you do inner work everything follows inner work is the priority heart healing um, the heart the heart is the most powerful tool to invoke it is the most powerful tool that creates harmony peace within the body it opens dormant energy within your body and DNA and when I say DNA, right, I'm not talking about race. I'm not talking about the human part. Okay, I'm talking about the soul. The soul DNA. The, the DNA that connects us to the cosmos, right? To our origins. To our spiritual guides on the other side. To our dream state our astral state, our lucidity, our awareness, our natural energetic blueprint that we all have, our soul origin. It expands and clears the auric field. It enhances the feelings of deeper love and clarity and brings truth to dark situations that want to be set free. So, key to having a relationship with yourself, start with your heart. Your heart is the source of life. Your heart carries your dreams. Your heart brings forth miracles. Your heart connects to God. Your heart is a powerful tool, a powerful portal. It connects to the nervous system of your body. Flow of your body. And the heart is connected to your aura. And the 
aura is the start of where diseases are born, karmic things, ancestral things, information, wisdom, protection, guidance, your aura is what created your body. So when we start to understand that we're the energy, we're the aura, then our body can work in the most efficient way, the way the body was supposed to be worked, the way the body was supposed to be used. Our bodies have so much potential. We are not meant to be feeling pain or diseases or blocks, emotional blocks, which causes diseases. We're supposed to be feeling joy and bliss within this body. Our body is intelligent. So when we, once we start to bring focus and awareness to our heart space, and we breathe into the heart space, the heart can balance the mind, balance the nervous system, balance everything in the body, clear emotional triggers and toxins and from the blood and everything starts to circulate and become an equilibrium again. So inner work is vital to having a relationship with yourself. Start now. Start now. That's all I'm going to say right now is start now because now's the time. Whoever's watching this, whoever clicked on this video, your soul's telling you now's the time to start opening this portal up, to start focusing from within, to start activating from within, to start opening yourself to your divinity, to the truth of who you really are. And I find nature to be a great space to do that. Because this is our home. This is a pure reflection of our home. And earth is the body, the macro body. We are all little walking earths, our bodies is connected to this bigger body. So and where we're going, you know. Where we're going is, will always come back to nature. It will always come back to the earth. That is the origin of the truth of life and where our resources lie, you know, where the resources come from. It's from earth. Everything comes from earth. And that goes with the energetic side as well. Everything comes from God. Everything comes from the divine happiness, joy, bliss, peace. That is the cause. And the effect comes in the physical. So it's truly about inner work. And everything else will follow. Everything is energy. Don't give up. Your inner being your being, your soul, is always guiding you to take the next steps along your journey. It's always giving you symbols and signs and dreams um, during your sleep state and everything that you need to know. You just have to pay attention, really. If you notice cycles in your life and you notice you're in a, the beginning of another cycle, same as the past, catch yourself 
in this cycle, in this moment, and be aware of the subtle feelings that surface, the subtle thoughts. If you are, no, catch yourself if you're repeating something of the past, and then see the other side of it. What is that other side telling you to pay more attention to? to focus on more that you didn't before in the past. There was always something there that we always overlooked, always ignored, because everything we need is always in this moment. And the more we focus on what it is that your soul, that the universe wants us to pay attention to, the more we focus on that, on the blessings that we have in this moment, the more it grows and the more it flourishes. So our inner being, beyond the thoughts, beyond the anxiety, beyond the worries, something is moving inside of you, the undercurrent, the subtleness inside it is always communicating. Always, 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 always. Sending you the next action steps. It's truly us just getting out of our own way in order for that being to come forth. And that is going beyond the thinking mind, going beyond the human worries the ego going beyond all of the man-made stuff that blocks us from our truth, our authenticity, from our soul, from our heart and soul. Let's just take a moment and tap into our heartbeat. Find a space that's comfortable to lay your back against or just sit in a comfortable position and take the most deepest breath of your life while focusing on your heartbeat. <laughs> Hold your breath, focus on the heartbeat, and release through the mouth. Release any anxiety or worries through the mouth, through the breath, through the heartbeat. Nourish yourself, nurture your priorities, your dreams and your goals, your imagination, and take the next action steps that your inner being is calling for you to do. Because that is self-love. That is having a relationship with self, with your soul, and with God. That will ultimately be the cause of your physical reality. Thank you for being here. And always remember to drop into the heart get beyond the thinking mind. Expand your chest and breathe deeply. This is your compass. This is your guidance system. This is your intuition. This is the source of everything you need to know.